We are asked to project the end 2020 debt level of the hypothetical country Macroland. In this table, the Ministry of Finance shared with us information for both net debt issuances and borrowing requirements. First, note the following. At the end of 2019, the public debt stock was 100 million Macroland pesos. In 2020, the government's revenues are projected to be 25 million Macroland pesos, and its expenditures are projected to be 35 million. Thus, the fiscal deficit is projected to be 10 million, or the overall balance is projected to be minus 10 million. Debt amortization payments are projected to be 20 million. Thus, the government gross financing needs, calculated as amortizations minus the overall balance, are projected to be 30 million. In addition, the other net debt creating flows are projected to be equal to the net purchase of financial assets for 5 million Macroland pesos. The government must then issue new debt for 35 million to cover the gross financing needs and the other flows. How can we project the end 2020 debt level? With the information provided in the table, we can use two equivalent approaches. First, following the net debt issuances approach, the end 2020 debt stock equals the end 2019 debt stock of 100 million plus the debt issuances for 35 million and minus the amortization payments for 20 million. Therefore, the end 2020 debt stock is projected to be 115 million Macroland pesos. Alternatively, following the borrowing requirements approach, the end 2020 debt stock equals the end 2019 debt stock of 100 million minus the overall balance of minus 10 million. This is plus 10 million and plus the other flows of 5 million Thus, with this approach, we also project the N2020 debt stock to be 115 million Macroland pesos, illustrating how the two approaches we use to project public debt yield equivalent results.